Welcome to another edition of Trial by Magis, featuring the Wings of the War Cache. Today I'm going to be covering the Australian CAC CA-1 Weiraway Premium Attack Aircraft. Now this is a airplane with a uh, pretty interesting history on it. Before World War II started, uh, specifically in the Pacific uh, Theater, the Australians were getting nervous about the way world situation was uh, progressing. So they began looking for aircraft that they could produce uh, domestically for their air force. Uh, one of the aircraft that they turned to was the uh, North American Aviation T-6 Texan. And after inspecting it and uh, purchasing a handful of examples, they determined that uh, this aircraft could be modified uh, for military use and produced domestically. And they did so with the CA-1 Weiraway and the later Boomerang. Now the Weiraway was intended to be used as a troop support uh, ground attack aircraft, although if it was not carrying bombs, it could be used as an emergency fighter. It carries four 250 pound bombs. Now at tier 3, those bombs are pretty massive. I guarantee they will, if you get a direct hit, it will one-shot any target you come across. For machine guns, because this thing does not carry any cannons, the, air, the airframe was not uh, strong or heavy enough. It has a pair of Vickers 7.62 millimeter machine guns here above the nose, and a third Vickers machine gun carried by the Observer. Now the Weiraway is powered by a Pratt & Whitney R1340 Wasp engine, and that is enough to get it uh, going up to a good speed for a tier 3 aircraft. It's not a it's not a speed demon. It's not going to win any races by any any stretch of the imagination, but it is good enough and it has a decent amount of boost on it so that you can uh, hold up her speed while you're uh, in a turn or at uh, higher altitudes uh, or you got enough boost to get back up to a good cruising speed after slowing down to use your cannons, or sorry, your machine guns on uh, a ground target after dispensing with all of your bombs. Now the weird way how I use her, once I get rid of all four of those bombs, I do not hesitate to take her into the dogfight. If you don't get right up on somebody's tail, especially a more maneuverable fighter, which almost all of them are, if you maintain your distance at about a medium range, about you know 300 to 400 meters, you'll be able to turn the nose of the weir away quickly enough to keep the guns on target no matter what kind of uh, evasive maneuvers your target is doing. The weir away is pretty deadly if she's being ignored by the enemy. But once someone gets on your tail, unless you got a bomb to smack them off, they're probably not going to leave. You got a good amount of health on this thing, and it's a durable airframe, so I would I would do anything other than let something get on your tail. If you gotta flip the, uh, the weir way over and slap them with your wing as they go by, do it. Whatever you do, don't let something get on your tail if you're flying alone. If you've got a wingman, well, the weirway is maneuverable enough and durable enough that uh, she'll survive long enough for your wingman to clear your tail for you. But if you're solo, all bets are off. That's about everything that I have for tactics on the Weiraway. Uh, being an attack aircraft, it's fairly straightforward, so let's go ahead and show you a battle that I carried out in her for uh, the anniversary mission, the one year anniversary, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I dropped my bombs first, and then I approached the dogfight 
and attacked aircraft that were not paying attention to me. I hope you all enjoy it. Good hunting. <laughs>